Hey, Ming Tsai here. I'm going to tell you today about the Anova Precision Cooker, a very cool tool that makes cooking so easy for difficult things like Eggs Benedict. So let's go ahead and get started. This is an emergency circulator. I love it because it's digital and so easy to read. I have this set for 147 degrees, and what I'm going to do is circulate four eggs, gently lay them in because you don't want them to crack, and this takes exactly one hour. You hold the timer switch until you hear a beep, right? It turns red. I just toggle it up to 60 minutes, and I hit it again, boom. So the most challenging part of making Eggs Benedict is done. These eggs will be perfectly poached and runny, and I can just hang out for 45 minutes because the rest of it, which is a tofu hollandaise and a little bit of bacon and spinach, is going to take about 15 minutes. So we're just going to chill for 45 and then come back and put this dish together. All right, it's been 45 minutes, so there's 15 minutes left on these eggs. We can go ahead and get started on everything else with this dish. The first is the guilt-free tofu hollandaise, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of minced shallots, just in a dry pan's fine. I'm going to take some rice vinegar, and we're going to take some fresh lemon juice. And what I'm doing is just getting the rawness out of um, the shallots, and I'm going to reduce this, reduce this by 90%. All right. So when this comes down, and then I'm going to use silken tofu and blend it. All right. So we'll just watch this come down by 90%. All right, so it takes only about a minute. A little black pepper, a little pinch of salt. It smells great already. So now we're gonna take this blender, take all of this, dump the shallots, a little bit of liquid. Again, reduce it by 90 because you don't want a lot of that liquid left. All right, so then that, we're gonna use this pan, by the way, and go ahead and get some spinach in here because you need spinach for a good Eggs Benny. Put that there. All right. Then we're going to blend this with a block of silken tofu. All right. So that goes straight in like that. And we're just going to blend this and combine it all together. This is grapeseed oil. Adding this in slowly. Pinch of salt. Nice and smooth. Oh yeah, looking good. Wilt the spinach down. All right, I see three minutes left on the eggs, so we're gonna go ahead, get the ham in here too. We're gonna drop our muffins. These will probably take three to four minutes. So spinach is done. That goes here. Same pan, take the ham. All right. So as soon as those muffins are ready, we're going to plate this up. All right, so these muffins are done, and you hear the timer. That's exactly one hour. All right, pull these out. Turn off the timer here. So, again, perfectly poached eggs. All right. And quattro. All right, the eggs are ready, so let's go ahead and build our eggs, Benny. Take a piece of Canadian bacon. Take a little bit of our sweated spinach. So, technically, it's an eggs Florentine, I guess, with the spinach, but I like spinach with bacon. All right. Then let's take our egg with a paring knife. You just want to crack it, right? And then this egg will just come out ever so slowly. Go nice, and you get a perfectly poached egg. Look at that. Look at that egg. It's going to slide a little bit. That's okay. Do a second one. Hey, come back here. All right, we'll set that up. But see how perfectly poached this egg is? The egg white's fully cooked. Got a runny egg yolk in the middle there. Let me go ahead and get this back on our spinach island. Look at that. How great those eggs look. Then we have our tofu hollandaise. 
Hey, get back there, Egg. Come on, Egg. These eggs are so perfectly cooked, they're just moving around. All right. Get this one back on. Bit of spinach. Like that. All right. Get it some more tofu hollandaise. Oh my God. How good does this look? By the way, this hollandaise is also delicious. You can do, use your traditional if you want. I like this because it's guilt-free. Delicious, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of chopped chives. There you have it, guys. Guilt-free tofu hollandaise eggs benedict, but the key was effortless cooking with the Unova for perfectly cooked poached eggs. You gotta try this at home. And as you know, I love matching food with wine. Well, Eggs Benedict is no exception, so why not a delicious mimosa? I like it at least two-thirds champagne, and I like these big glasses. This little Louis Roterer with some freshly squeezed OJ, just a little bit. There we go. Now, the test. Check this out. Here's our eggs, Benny. Let's cut this in half. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Look at the runniness of that egg yolk. How good is that? That is what you want for the ultimate, ultimate bite of eggs, Benny. Let's see how this, see how we did here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, check this out. Just boom. A luscious egg yolk like that. That is a perfectly cooked egg for Eggs Bunny. It's what you're looking for. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of mimosa. Ah, that's what we want. Cook Eggs Bunny at home, have a mimosa, get yourself the Nova so you don't need to worry about the eggs. As always, peace and good eating.